<laughs> hey there, fellow minions of technology. My name is Tim Lee, and welcome to Legacy Studio. In today's video, I could not be more excited. No, seriously. This right here is my AKG Perception 220. It's a wonderful microphone. If you look at my past couple videos, I've told you it's an amazing microphone, and I have never had any need to replace it. Uh, now, I did get another microphone just recently, which is tucked over here. This is my MXL 990. I got that specifically for the secondary camera setup that we have here um, and accidentally even got my hands on two AKG 120s because someone sent it to me a little late in a eBay that's a long story so look I have no need for microphones I'm wonderful on microphones this is my most trusted microphone it has never ever let me down but between you and I, there has always been one microphone that I have dreamed of having. It is my Eleanor, my, uh, if you know Eleanor from Gone in 60 Seconds, uh, it's my holy grail of microphones. And today, I went to a very unusual place because of a certain Facebook marketplace sale. And I picked up my dream microphone. <laughs> I could, I cannot be more excited, and you guys probably could care less, but this is amazing, and I cannot wait to try it. This is my new Shure Super 55. Um, I have dreamed of owning this microphone forever. The, this microphone, you see how I'm caressing it? <laughs> this microphone is easily close to three, well, $300 new, uh, and this is a very special one. I have never seen a black Shure Super 55. By the way, this is a super cardioid microphone, which means it has a very, very narrow beam that it listens to. So ambient sounds around it, it doesn't hear them because it's just so... Mm, straight on. I've been wanting this microphone since I was a child, and I, I'm so excited to have it. Uh, and I got an, a, a really incredible deal from a guy. Uh, this guy is uh, a, a musician. He plays around uh, Montana. Look, uh, you know what I'm going to do? He was so nice to me. I'm going to include his link in the description below. Go and check it out. Sunsa 406. Uh, they're actually a really good band. They play a lot of country uh, Americana type stuff. And uh, from the videos I've seen, they do quite well. I told him, hey, I work at a radio station. I need to keep these guys in. Why does it look like I'm wearing a toupee? I promise I'm not. That's my real hair. Anyway, check out Sense of 406. Um, uh, he, he hooked me up. Uh, so, yes, long story short, I am going to... I'm going to do the unthinkable, and the AKG Perception 220, I am going to remove it off of this stand. It has been on this stand forever. I feel bad, <laughs> but sometimes you get usurped, and that's what's going to happen right now. And, and I got a little... Okay, so uh, here we are. <laughs> I don't know what to think about how this <laughs> looks on this this arm. These microphones require just a little bit more oomph behind them. Usually they require a bit more of a, uh, what do they call them? Uh, fet head or a, a, a cloud lifter uh, put in here. So it kind of powers this up a bit more. It takes a lot of lead, a lot of gain to, to do this. Uh, requires a lot of power. So I really, I really, really hope... <laughs> I'm even if it doesn't look good on camera I just can't believe I finally own this thing I have wanted this microphone forever and I can't really tell how I feel about it I mean right now it's just it's weird on the arm it really is I mean it just but I mean like I mean, it's just it's you expect you would expect to be seeing a uh, a condenser microphone instead of a uh, super cardioid dynamic but this thing is is incredible and if i talk over here on this side or i talk over here on the opposite side the sound might get a bit reduced uh amb ambient noise from behind like if i point this in a certain direction here the very heavy going fan on my computer uh you probably can't hear that so well hopefully anyway i'm just i'm so excited if I turn it this way, it's kind of like, and in this corner. No, that's not going to work. Yeah, no, and that just looks 
<laughs> that actually looks kind of interesting, except for the fact of what the patterning is going to be doing now. It's it, Like I said, it's a very direct microphone. It's supposed to read out, but now it's also reading. I mean, it's going to read a little bit out the back because that's what a super cardioid does. Um, I don't know. I'm, I'm going to have to I'm gonna have to play with this thing a little bit and see what I like. I mean, it feels a little out of place on the video, but I know I just I've wanted this microphone for as long as I re can recall. I've dreamed of this microphone since I was a kid. Uh, I, I don't know how I'm going to make use of it, but I am going to make extreme use of it. So I'd be very curious to know, what do you think? What microphone did you like more? Did you like seeing the AKG Perception 220 on here, which is what you kind of expect to see in videos? Or do you like to see this beautiful Super 55 Super Cardioid Dynamic microphone on here? If you have any questions at all about this microphone, please let me know in the comments below. I'd be very happy to talk to you more about it. I do expect that I'll be using this more for voiceover work than I'll be using it on camera. I, I intend to use this as much on camera as possible. But when it comes down to it, this is more of a production mic. A lot of people prefer to use it on stage because it's really good for a whole bunch of other stuff as well. And of course, it has a great on-stage presence. But when it comes down to this microphone, it being super cardioid, it knocks out a lot of ambient room. So if I get really close to this microphone and I talk to you guys through the mic, uh, it sounds very good. It knocks out a lot of the ambient sound and it focuses only on my voice. It's a beautiful thing that's in this uh, Sure uh, sure, Super 55. Uh, I, I, I've i dreamed of you. Welcome to my family. So very quick story about this. I found this microphone on Facebook Marketplace and I asked the guy how much he wanted for it. The price was too high for me and I didn't respond back to him. I was a terrible person. I didn't respond back. And uh, I'd say almost a week went by and he sent me another message out of the blue and gave me another price, which was still a little high for me. I just... I'm I'm an I'm an artist and I'm a radio DJ. That should tell you everything you need to know about my budgets. Uh, and so he, I, I told him, look, I I really can't do that. Here's the price. I know it's far underpriced. Uh, we kind of did a little haggling, and he gave me a price I couldn't. He gave me an offer I couldn't refuse, eh? And so I I freaked out and I said yes. And he said, let's meet in the middle of the mountains, in the middle of nowhere, at a garbage dump, and. <laughs> to the trade out. So I'm going to show you this video real quick of me flying my drone over there. I actually went there a little bit early too. I mean, hey, hey, I'm used to buying stuff off of Facebook and, and Craigslist and stuff in Florida, which means you go and you stock out the area. You understand what's going on. You make sure there aren't cars or people with guns or whatever. So I'm used to showing up to these things early. So I showed up at this garbage dump about 20 minutes early and you're going to be like, that's a garbage dump. Well, yes, it is because it's a, it's a garbage dump for a very small town. But yes, and so I wanted to be able to, you know, check things out. And I thought, you know, I'll take the drone with me and I'll fly it around since I'm now part 107 and I can put videos like that into my content, which is amazing because uh, I get paid for it now. And it's awesome. So, yeah, I flew around and he showed up. He was amazing. He had his kid with him. We talked shop a little bit and uh, he, was, he was just great. So, like I said, Sunsa, S-U-N-S-A-H 406. Look him up on Facebook, on YouTube. They're a great band. Uh, uh, here in uh, Great Falls, Montana, out of Helena is where they play out of, and uh, they, they, they're great. So this microphone has been his main microphone for about two years, and now it's mine for the rest of eternity. Till death do us part. Thank you so much for watching. God bless you guys. I'll see you next time right here on another video here on Legacy Studio. Uh, very excited uh, to hear it and hear how it sounds. I really, really, really love that I now get this microphone in my life. <laughs> this is great. I'm going to tell you one more important thing. Uh, this right here where it says Instagram.com forward slash Tim Lee Michael has changed. No, I still have it. You can stay there. But Instagram.com forward slash official Legacy Studio, all one word, official Legacy Legacy Studio, go there. All the videos that you see here on YouTube are now also being uploaded on Instagram as long as they're under 10 minutes. So please go and follow me on Instagram. YouTube has kind of let me down. I'm not getting as many subscribers as I used to get or views as I used to get. At one point in time, I'd get 100 views within the first half an hour of uploading and I watched as a day went by when YouTube changed all of their stats and everything changed on me. So yes, I've changed some things and I'm moving a lot of my stuff to Instagram just in case if everyone decides to leave YouTube. Just saying. All right. God bless you guys. We'll see you next time right here on Legacy Studio. Y'all behave yourselves. Ah, so excited that I finally got 
my dream mic. Woo!